Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda and today we're going to talk a little bit about what it's like to live in America today, but think about living like our grandparents did or great grandparents or great great grandparents according to how old you are. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing today that probably my granny and my great grandmother would have done. First off, figs. Danny went out and picked all these beautiful figs. This bucket and this bucket was this morning. We picked those last night. We are fighting the birds. We would have had twice this many, or at least another bucket if we hadn't had woodpeckers and red birds and blue jays hitting the tree. We can't be out there all day every day, so we go out extremely early. We pick what we can pick we feed what the birds have eaten to the chickens, so they get some, they love it, they love figs. I'm just telling y'all, they love figs. Um, so we have to beat the birds. We have to get up early and pick. During the day, what turns the birds get. Sometimes at night, we pick again what's left. So one thing we're doing is trying to beat the birds. Another is, we have some little creature that thinks he likes our peaches. Now these peaches aren't the biggest, prettiest. I mean, you can see this one is really small. These are like a medium sized peach, but some creature will knock them off. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting them, taking the center out and I'm peeling them. That might not look like a lot to y'all and I've got um, lemon in my water to keep them from turning. But y'all, my granny would have used anything she could find to eat. And that's what we're going to have to do. It doesn't matter that these do not look like the grocery store peaches. These taste way better than a grocery store peach. They may be smaller, but y'all, they're well worth it. Even if you got an animal knocking them off. These were not quite turned two or three days ago when we picked them up. But they turned. They will be nice peaches. This is the last harvest of my tomatoes, and you can see they're kind of weird looking, but I'm letting them, these won't turn, but I can use green tomatoes in something. These will continue to turn, and I'll have them in a salad, and we'll slice these up with the green and make something out of those. Using the last of the harvest, my granny would have done that. Eggs, we have eggs every day. I'm going to tell y'all what, eggs on top of eggs. We eat eggs every day. I use eggs and stuff, and I give I don't know how many eggs away. These apples. Now, you're going to say that's some green apples. Yep, it is. But some little creature, again, one of them, I think I've done sliced the one that was eaten. He was out there, and we had uh, bite marks all in our one of the apples, and he knocked several off the tree. So I'm not losing green apples, y'all. These things are actually amazing in themselves. They may be green, but I slice them up, put a touch of brown sugar over them. You can add cinnamon if you want, a touch of water in there, and steam them in, in the oven. I just kind of put them in the oven at 350 for 15, 20 minutes, and you've got it like a baked apple. I slice them, peel them, take the core out, you know, that kind of stuff. This is amazing. My granny would have used whatever was there, whatever she had. And garlic, look at this. Our garlic did amazing, so I've got garlic sitting here, and I use garlic in almost everything. I also have a supply. Now, I've got to fill my rice thing up because we're using rice quite a bit, but I have rice and beans. This is something that... Um, our grandparents would have had a supply of, and they would have eaten on a regular basis, beans and rice, believe me, a lot. But the peaches was the main thing. Never throw away something that you can use. Look at this, it was beautiful, and they taste amazing. You can make a peach cobbler. When I get through, there's enough there to make a peach cobbler, or you can use them as a snack fresh. So guys, don't ever throw out that little bit of stuff that you have. Eat it, use it, refresh. I go in my greenhouse, and if there's only one or two asparagus, I just pick it and eat it then. You know, whatever. You got to eat fresh. You got to eat in season. 
you got to start looking for those little nuggets. If you've got fruit trees and you think, well, the birds are getting them or whatever, or some animals getting them, check it. Some of it's still good. Don't throw it away. In the future, you'll thank me. Thank you guys from Crazy Days.